Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People is an episodic graphic adventure based on the Homestar Runner web cartoon, with Strong Bad as the lead character. It is developed by Telltale Games. A total of five episodes were released for Microsoft Windows and WiiWare between August 11, 2008 and December 15, 2008. It was released on the PlayStation 3 in North America on December 21, 2010, and in other regions at a later time. There is also an OS X version. Gameplay Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people uses point-and-click mechanics. The player plays as Strong Bad, one of the most popular characters in the Homestar Runner online Flash animation series, as he goes through his life, interacting with characters. Each game contains a different goal that the player must reach by talking to characters and using items. Apart from the point-and-click mechanics, each episode features an arcade-style minigame. For example, the first episode features a top-down boxing game called Snake Boxer 5. Other features include a customizable map, hidden and collectible items such as 3x5 cards used to create Teen Girl Squad comics, and the ability to take pictures to send to friends through WeConnect24 or by email depending on the version used. Episodes Development The series was first hinted at in a Homestar Runner short posted on YouTube, called, "'Strong Bad Gameways'", a parody of pre-flight safety demonstrations with the Wii Remote. The game itself was officially announced on April 10, 2008 in a press release from Telltale Games. A second season may be made if the first season sells well, according to Mark Darren, lead designer of the series at Telltale Games. Both Mike and Matt Chapman, the creators of Homestar Runner, were quite involved in the production process of the games, even early on. In the design phase, we have brainstorming sessions with them where they contribute to the ideas that will eventually become the plot of the episodes. Then one of our designers will write the episode script and pass that along to the brothers where they review, edit and rewrite whatever feels necessary to make the whole thing feel more strong bad why. Topic: Reception. Topic: Episode 1 Homestar Ruiner. Episode 1 Homestar Ruiner received moderately positive reviews. Aggregating review websites GameRankings and Metacritic gave the Wii version 76.76% and 76 one hundredths and the PC version 73.33% and 73 one hundredths. IGN gave the game an 8.1 out of 10, with the authentic presentation, voice work, music and the opening song impressing them the most. They also believed the game to be a must-download for fans, but felt that the experience was short-lived and doesn't break any new ground for the genre. In contrast, GameSpot believed the cartoon's humor did not translate well to an adventure game, and gave it a 5 tenths. ONM gave it 88%, naming it one of the best WiiWare games so far, but that the humor in it isn't for everyone. It was awarded Best Voice Acting for the Wii by IGN in its 2008 Video Game Awards. IGN also made it a nominee for Best Story and Best WiiWare Game. This is the only episode to be rated T. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Episode 2 Strong Body of the Free. Episode 2 Strong Body of the Free received positive reviews. Aggregating review websites GameRankings and Metacritic gave the PC version 80.46% and 81 one hundredths and the Wii version 79.36% and 82 one hundredths. IGN, which gave the game 8.2.10, echoed their assessment from their Homestar Ruiner review, noting the game to be slightly longer and more complete than its predecessor, yet still geared very much towards fans. GameSpot, who disliked the first episode, gave Strong Body of the Free a 7.0.10, believing the game was a marked improvement with a more linear and original plot, and funnier jokes they felt did not need to prop up the weak gameplay noted in its predecessor. 
ONM gave it 86%, saying that although it was longer and funnier, the strategy at the end is weak resulting in a lower score. However, the episode did garner the best reception out of the five. Episode 3 Baddest of the Bands Episode 3 Baddest of the Bands received positive reviews. Aggregating review websites GameRankings and Metacritic gave the PC version 79.64% and 79.100s and the Wii version 78.82% and 79.100s. IGN gave it 8.4.10, claiming it has the best puzzles our hero has encountered yet", as well as, "...the best strong bad mini-game so far". WiiWare World gave the game 7 out of 10, commenting that while the series continues to appeal to fans of previous episodes, it does not offer anything for new players. <laughs> Episode 4 Dangeresque 3, The Criminal Projective Episode 4 Dangeresque 3, The Criminal Projective received positive reviews. Aggregating review websites GameRankings and Metacritic gave the PC version 82.68% and 81.100s and the Wii version 81.23% and 81.100s. Nintendo Life gave the game 8 out of 10. They called the game easily the best episode yet and hoped the series finale would be even better. IGN gave the game an 8.5/10, again praising Matt Chapman's voice work and the music as well, which they stated was a little more ambitious than the other episodes. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Episode 5 to 8 bit is enough. Episode 5 to 8 bit is enough received positive reviews. Aggregating review websites GameRankings and Metacritic gave the Wii version 84.62% and 83.100s and the PC version 83.86% and 82.100s. <laughs>